to Miss Lori's Tiny Kitchen. Today we're going to be baking cookies, cookies made with Bisquick dough. And um, so to do that, you need to have um, a cup of Bisquick, which I pre-measured, a third a cup of milk, and a little bit of flour for dusting when you're um, rolling out your dough, a cookie cutter, and your bowl. So here we go. This is something that you can do with your little one. Open up the bag and let them pour the flour in. I saved the bag, you'll see why in a little bit. Now, I'm gonna make a well in the middle of my dough a well in the middle of my dough and I'm going to pour my milk in the well here comes another one of those pouring exercises that we do so much of and then I'm going to stir it up with my fork and make a ball of dough Now, in the beginning, the dough is a little sticky, as you can see. So, we're going to put a little bit of flour in the middle of my rolling pad and roll the dough out onto the flour. And I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my hands, too. I'm going to pat and push, pat and push until I make it into a nice round ball. And believe me, the patting and the pushing is something your little ones are going to love to do. Pat and push. And I would let them have a turn. Push. Okay, now here we have our dough. And I'm going to take a little bit more flour and rub it on my rolling pin. Roll it out. Roll it this way. Keep rolling. And now it's my child's turn to do it. Believe me, they won't be quite as tidy as I am about the roll rolling, no problem. It's the process that's, that's the point. Okay. Now I'm going to take my cookie cutter. Today we're having tulips and cut. Push, twist, push, twist, and put it on the pan. Push and twist and put it on the pan. You can go through and do all your pushing and pushing, pushing and Twisting, get as many together as you can. And of course, your child's helping you at each time. We're getting a turn to push and push and twist too. And then you're gonna take and Roll up your dough for another rolling out with the rolling pin. And I'm going to hold my spatula and slip it under. You can put your brisket cookies onto the cookie sheet without any grease greasing. And then I can re I have enough that we can do another turn of cookie cutting. 
When you're all done and your pan is all full, you're going to have a little bit of cookie dough left over. Just put it in the bag, put it in the refrigerator, and it's ready for another day of cooking. Now I'm going to put my biscuits in a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. And when I'm done, you get these nice golden brown biscuits. You can bring to the table and share with your family. So let's have the taste test. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. A little dry, a little crispy, but made with love. Have a good time.